So you heard about ketosis, and you know it's a state in which your body switches over metabolic pathways and begins primarily using fats for fuel. So you start a ketogenic diet, or let's say you try fasting, or you're cycling your carbohydrates and counting every last carb that goes into your mouth, but you're left feeling unsure, unaware, and simply unable to verify whether you're actually doing the right things to get yourself into ketosis. Well, that's exactly why I decided to make this video. I wanna give you guys six very simple tests and signs that you could look for that'll show whether you are in fact in this fat adapted state of ketosis. Let's start with the very first sign that you'll experience as you get closer to ketosis, and that's fatigue and a decrease in your performance levels. When you start something like a ketogenic diet or fasting where you're cutting your carbs really, really low, your body isn't just gonna automatically switch over to efficiently metabolizing fat for energy. It's gonna take time for your body to stop metabolizing carbs and switch over to using fats even if you're not eating any carbs at all. This is due to the fact that your body stores away carbohydrates for this exact scenario. So before your body even begins to try to become more fat adapted, it's gonna draw out and use all the stored carbohydrates in the form of glycogen from your liver and your muscles. Normally, when you work out, even when you're not on a low-carb diet, this process of using stored carbohydrates is happening anyway. But the major difference is that at the end of the workout and throughout the rest of the day, the carbs that you're eating will refill those glycogen stores in your liver and your muscles that you've used up. However, when you're following a low-carb, ketogenic, or a fasting diet plan, you're never really restoring those glycogen stores. So this in-between phase where your glycogen stores are running low, but your body is not yet fat adapted and it's not efficiently using fats for energy, this phase is many times referred to as the keto flu. And even though it may sound nasty and it may feel pretty nasty to be in this in-between phase, it's the first sign that you're starting to enter ketosis. You'll experience things like general fatigue throughout the day, a reduction in the amount of weight that you can actually lift at the gym, and a reduction in your endurance levels as well. The good news is that after just a couple weeks, your body will fully switch energy pathways and you'll start to feel a lot better because your body will begin efficiently using fat for fuel. In fact, one study found that athletes that were on the ketogenic diet burned 230% more calories from fat during exercise than athletes that were not following the keto diet. As you start feeling your energy levels go back up, this becomes an additional sign that you have now actually entered ketosis. Now, this symptom of ketosis obviously has its pros and cons. The good thing about using fatigue as a measurement of whether you're getting closer to ketosis is that all it requires is for you to assess how you're feeling rather than any kind of additional expensive testing equipment. The downside to testing this way, just because you're experiencing fatigue doesn't 100% mean that you've now entered this state of ketosis. So this is definitely not the most accurate way for a conclusive result. But if you're looking for a more definitive result, then you'll definitely love this next testing method that you could do right in your own house. And that's using ketone urine test strips. Now, when used incorrectly, these are definitely not 100% accurate. So I'll give you some tips on how to ensure that you get more of an accurate reading in a second. But first, let me briefly explain how they work. You can either pee in a clean, dry container and then dip the testing strip into it, or you can take a ketone test strip and hold the testing side of the strip directly under your stream of urine. Regardless of how you do it, you would then wait about 15 seconds for your results. The result you would compare to the color guide that actually comes with your test strips, but usually a darker purple color will indicate higher levels of ketosis. Ideally, you would wanna be in the low to mid-level ranges of ketosis, otherwise you may still feel those same fatigue symptoms that you were feeling originally during the keto flu phase. Now, to ensure the accuracy of this test, you wanna to try to test during the same time of each day with a similar level of hydration. If you aren't hydrated enough, then there will be a higher concentration of ketones in your urine, leading to a false positive result. And if you're too hydrated, then it'll lead to a lower concentration of ketones, which could give you a false negative result. For accurate testing, you don't want your urine to be fully clear nor dark yellow. Instead, you're looking for more of a light yellow color and ensure that it's a similar color every time you do the test. The good part about this testing method is that it's very inexpensive and it'll almost instantaneously give you results. 
The bad part is obviously the fact that it's very easy to get false readings due to hydration levels and supplements like liquid ketones can also give you a false positive and throw off your reading as well. Luckily, there are even more accurate ways that you could test your ketone levels and a ketone blood test is the method that I believe is by far the most accurate way to test for ketosis right at home. This test is very similar to the blood sugar testing that diabetics do. It requires a small sample of blood that you'll get by pricking your finger with a lancet and then you would suck the blood up into the test strip and the meter will provide a quick reading for you. To confirm that you are in fact in ketosis, you'll want the meter to give you a reading between 0.5 and 3. Now the drawbacks with this test are that you will be required to prick your finger every time and to buy the meter and the strips, it'll cost you about $60 from Amazon which I actually included a link for below. On the other hand, the upside is that a blood test is the most accurate way to test ketone levels. But what if you don't want to buy anything to test if you're in ketosis? Well, there are other symptoms and signs that you could look for. One of them is bad breath, also known as keto breath. When fatty acids are broken down by the liver and the kidneys, one of the byproducts is acetone. This bad breath smell is especially obvious when you first wake up in the morning before you have anything to eat. The bad smell is described as similar to overripe apples, so it's kind of like a mix of fruity and a metallic smell. Obviously, testing just by the smell of your breath in the morning could be a very inaccurate method, but there are ketonics devices that can test the ketone levels in your breath. The bad news is that these ketonics devices are pretty expensive, but the good news is that there is a workaround. Most cheap alcohol breathalyzer tests rely on a semiconductor sensor that can't tell the difference between acetone and alcohol. A professional police grade breathalyzer uses a fuel condenser sensor, which will definitely tell the difference. But one of those cheaper breathalyzers with a semiconductor sensor that you might have seen on a keychain, those can actually be used to pick up acetone on your breath and measure ketone levels. I've included a link for one of these semiconductor breathalyzers below as well. But anyway, moving on, another sign that points out ketosis is increase in thirst and dry mouth. This is largely due to the fact that stored carbohydrates in the form of glycogen are being used up and in the process, water is being flushed out of your system. Also, if you've reduced carbohydrates and you're eating more of a ketogenic diet, chances are high that you'll inadvertently be consuming less salt, further decreasing bloat and water retention. This is what leads many people on the keto diet to report having a dry mouth and feeling a lot thirstier. Even though thirst is definitely a symptom of entering ketosis, it's not the most accurate way to assess if your body has become fat adapted. But with all the water that you're losing, you can check for another symptom of entering ketosis, which is weight loss. Rapid weight loss within the first week or two can be a good indicator that you're getting ready to enter ketosis. When you cut carbs, your body will flush out a lot of water weight. It's usually after that initial rapid drop in water weight that you will enter ketosis and begin losing body fat at a much slower pace. Again, this method is not the most accurate way to test for ketosis because you can lose weight without ever being in ketosis to begin with. There are other smaller signs and symptoms that you could look for as well, like a reduction in appetite, insomnia, and digestive issues. But these six that I've narrowed down and talked to you about today are the easiest and the most accurate ways to test for ketosis. If you want to check out the blood, urine, and the breath testing devices that I've talked about, I've included links in the description below. But that's pretty much it, guys. I really hope this video has helped you out. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to my channel where you could find tons of other free videos on ketosis, the ketogenic diet, as well as plenty other fat loss advice. And it's important for me to just mention that just because you're in ketosis doesn't mean that you're gonna continuously be losing body fat or that you're gonna lose weight in the shortest amount of time possible. You wanna make sure that your diet plan is constantly evolving as you progress and your body begins to adapt. If you're looking to take the next step, lose some body fat and make a dramatic transformation in the shortest amount of time possible, check out my six week challenge that on average has my clients losing either 20 pounds or 5% of their body fat in six short weeks. It comes with a customized diet plan that includes a keto style plan as well as many other diet approaches for you to choose from. You'll also get a 42 day workout plan and an accountability coach to help guide you through the entire process. 
The best part is that we motivate you to follow through from day one to day 42 by having you put some skin in the game and giving you the opportunity to get the whole challenge, including all the challenge material for free. To find out more, click the link in the description or you could visit my website directly at gravitytransformation.com. I'll see you guys soon. Pump it.